Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. Today I'm going to go over my brand new bear container. Um, actually, it's a more—it looks more like a trash can, but it's bear resistant. It is uh, pretty thick, a uh, lot thicker than a regular trash can. Like if you're trying to smush it, for me, I, I can't—I can't do it. Maybe a bear can possibly do a little bit of damage to it, but. Um, I do want to note that this is bear resistant but not bear chew proof. So that means that bear, if they had enough time, they could chew through this. Um, but, you know, it was about $70 and then about another $70 to, to send to my house. Um, it's done by the original Barracuda bin. It has this cool looking Barracuda biting a bear on a butt. It's kind of cool. Um, pretty good size. Comes up to about right here. Um, I'll have a link below as well, and the, the link will show you all the dimensions on this and how big it is. Um, but this is basically how it works. You just get this, and you, you screw it on. You gotta make sure you line it up right. But then you just screw it on, so then it's all screwed, pretty secured. It's actually kind of funny, and I should show you this video. When I got this bear bin, um, I challenged my daughter to try to open it. And uh, so she took it out of the box and it literally took both of my daughters to do that. Um, I'll, I'll show you that video. It's really funny watching the two of them trying to open this and trying to figure it out. You know, they were picking it up and shaking it and turning it <clears throat> and putting it on its side and putting it upside down. Um, and, they, and they couldn't open it. It was hilarious. Um, but again, it's pretty big. Um, let's see if I can unscrew it. Oh, I just tightened it. Yeah, they do come with handles, but I didn't want to spend any more money on it. So I, I made my own handle to hold it. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure it on a tree as well. So that handle is going to come useful with that. But once you've got this thing on pretty tight, it's a little bit harder to untightened but you know with a simple with a simple handle um, it should work just fine so let me show you I have a little cooler and I'm gonna grab this is my little tiny cooler if I'm just coming up here for a day um, I don't really need anything more than that carry some beer and some uh, cheese and just a couple snacks and so forth um, but it fits in here pretty good again looks just like a trash can you can stick that in there my plan is to stick this in here stick a, um, a trash bag too um, for our trash trying to minimize any trash that we'd make um, I'm also going to stick our pots and pans in here and um, possibly our stove that will also go in here so this thing will get pretty full if I'm here for a while but it works out pretty well. So what I want to show you right now is how I'm going to secure this to a tree. So, um, why am I changing it to uh, chaining it to the tree? Um, I'm still a city girl, and I don't trust people. And this to ship it here, and just a headache to get it here. Um, had to be special shipped. Um, was a lot of effort on my part, and I don't want it stolen. Now I do know that anything I put in here 
can be stolen as well, and I'm going to take that into consideration. There's no way to secure the, uh, the top, so I can't lock the top from people coming here. So if I were to keep my pots and pans here uh, while I'm not here, or if I go away and go to the lake to go kayaking, um, you know, people can come here and they can open it up and and uh, steal my pots and pans. And, you know, there's not a lot of theft out here. I haven't heard anyone else talking about the theft that's out here, but um, I just want to be cautious to it and just, um, you know, I don't want people running off with it. Also, if there's some weather or something like that and it's really windy, you know, at least this, I know this will stay. Um, so it's securing it to the tree. Now, if, um, you know, a bear were to get at it, this is also kind of, kind of restricts them from trying to get it off even more you know they might be able to pull this handle off but um, I do have a lock on it as well but um, you know it's just it's just an extra precaution um, which I think is, is very useful so um, I really like it um, I'll show you my whole kitchen area um, we, we just start we just picked this area to be the area where we're going to be cooking um, and again, in, in bear country, you want to make sure you're not cooking at your tent. I see a lot of videos of people cooking in their tents. And that is not something that we can do here. Um, lots of bears in the area. In fact, I'll show you some, some pictures of bears, um, you know, within a, within a mile um, of here, trying to get into people's trash cans. And you'll be able to see how big and how massive these bears are. Um, I am hoping that, you know, it is possible they can chew through this, but, you know, the grocery store is only um, an hour commute there and back, so um, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. But we'll see. We'll try it out this year, see how this goes. And um, in one of my other videos, I said what, one of the containers I was looking to do was a metal container, but they were showing them putting it on somebody's property, and they had a forklift to do it. And here, there's just too many branches and trees, and um, it's, it's too hard to, to put a forklift up here just to put a bear container. And that's more of the metal bear lockers is what I was looking at. Um, okay, so I plan on having this, and then next to it, I will plan on having a cooler that has ice. Um, that will not be secure from bears. If the bear wants to get into the ice, they're going to get into it. Um, but my plan is to pull from the ice and put it into my little, that little bag. Um, cooler that I have so I can still keep my food cool. Um, this area that I chose is nice and um, covered a lot so you'll see there's a lot of there's a lot of moss around here um, it is a nice cool area and if I have to what I can do is I can put some more wood here to keep it still shaded from the Sun um, just to keep the food a little bit more fresh because in the summertime it can get pretty pretty warm here get up into the 80s Okay, so I'll show you my kitchen, and you can kind of see the position of where the um, the bear um, bear containers at. Okay, this is just a start to the kind of kitchen cooking area. Um, we still need to do a lot more stuff, but we have kind of a seating area here. Um, possibly, I'm kind of debating. I'm putting a little table right here, and maybe a lean-to shelter here, and some more seating area there. And you'll see the bear canister in the back, um, in the shade. And again, I am looking at putting some, maybe some um, cut up wood right here. Some another, some more cut up wood right over here. And I'll kind of span around so you can kind of see. Again, that will be the lean-to shelter. Can't have a lot of fires here in Colorado, but I will try to make a little fire pit. And I'm thinking it's going to go right around here. Um, I'm going to get a lot of stone and so forth for it. So that way we can try to cook right on the fire. But we'll see if they take out that fire ban. I'm not in a hurry to make that. Thanks for watching. We're doing a series of videos, so be sure to check them all out. They're all numbers as episodes. I just also have some playlists for you too, if you're looking for some kid safety when it comes to camping and some knife safety, um, as well as we're gonna be doing some knots here shortly. We're gonna put up some tarps. Um, we're gonna do this lean-to shelter here in the kitchen area. So subscribe to, to view more. We'd love to hear your comments below as well. Thanks.